Wish me everyone Lisa here from Four Cities to Change. I hope everyone had a good week. It is very hot here today and yeah just got home from a Costco run um, and it was crazy as usual so yeah I did do uh, just over nine kilometers this morning a uh, run mainly walk situation it was uh, very muggy but i got uh, nine kilometers in so happy with that and yeah nothing too exciting going on here i don't think i don't think so um yeah so i have some plans to share with you today because i am going to participate in the summer stitches challenge as well as um, Jolly July coming up, so we have all that happening. Um, yeah, but let's get started with some, let's say, stitchy kindness as, um, Deanne from Stitching on the Rock was doing a giveaway on her channel, and I was fortunate to, enough to win this 28 opalescent Lugana, so it's, I don't know if you can really see the sparkle probably not but it's a very nice piece of fabric so thank you Deanne it came with a nice note and it actually came pretty fast I thought as well um also um I believe I won some stickers from Karen from KB Studio Creation Cre Creations Crates <laughs> um and I'll link uh, both of their channels below. Um, I had done some model stitching for Karen as well um, for um, some scissor fobs um, that she fully finished the stitching into. Um, and so she shows those on her channel as well. So definitely should go and check those out. Um, yeah, I think that's the, all the mentions that I had in mind that uh, I wanted to get out there before I forgot. Uh, all right, so let's get to stitching and then we will move on to plans. Not a ton of stitching only because one piece I worked on for pretty much the whole week. Um, but last you saw me was Father's Day. And at that point I hadn't had a chance to really do any stitching for the day and I shared my plan of stitching the Canadian Grand Prix uh, track for Formula One and that's what I did. I'm just trying to get that. I got a 2022 charm there and I put 2022 because my husband went to see the race in Montreal last year. Doesn't really want to hang there, super great. There we go. Um, yeah, now the track that Abby Bella Stitch had charted was the other way around, I believe. Um, but then my husband said that that was kind of backwards to how the track really is. So I flipped it around and then that's where I did the placing for the Canadian Grand Prix. My backing fabric is just this maple leaf. So you can kind of see that through in the light, but I think this will look just fine on our Christmas tree. So that was a Father's Day gift. So that was a start, a finish, and a fully finish all on Sunday after we last spoke. So I think that's pretty good. And then I worked on Cinnamon Stars from Plum Street for pretty much all week. From last Sunday until yesterday. Um, my goal was to get 900 stitches in 
which I did. And so I need to add another 100 stitches to make my whip go goal. So we'll see when I get around to finishing that up. But that's how it's looking. So I finished this side here, finished the bottom row of pumpkins, started on that fence, filled in some of these stars over here, started the star. Yeah. Got a lot done on that. Although my bed was made, but Arlo was under the blanket, and I don't know why, because it's 500 degrees in here, but silly kitty. All right, and then I did also work on reaching skyward. I thought that was a loose thread, but I just stuck it in there. So, reaching skyward. Modern folk embroidery. I worked a little bit down on here. Oh, I meant to grab, um, I should get, grab a counting pin and put it in here just to show because the second option for the border is a repeating pattern. So you just get the one pattern and then you have to repeat it all the way down um just so i know that i've finished one repeat um worked out of this border here so that's what i worked on on friday um whip warrior group had a strident sow which is just an opportunity to work on a sow and so this is the sow that i picked for that And then I worked on Prairie Schooler Santa. This is the 2007, right? Uh, so I worked on the scarf, got this hand arm done too, as well as that. Um, yarn. Those get knitting needles. So that's coming along. And then today I had an opportunity to throw a hundred stitches in. Key from Barbara Anna. Right, and that was a freebie chart during the pandemic. And I just finished up her head there, added her, we'll say hair for lack of a better term, beak, and finished the key. So that's all I have for stitching. So not a whole ton to share with that. Um, only because I did mainly focus on cinnamon stars. Um, I am hoping to work on this summer stitches challenge um, by the Naptime Stitcher. You know, you'll remember a couple years ago, she did an Olympic challenge as well. I really liked working on that. So, um, Deanne from uh, Stitching on the Rock, I mentioned she was going to participate. And so that made me look into it a little bit more. Um, I'll share what I have, but it might change. So on June 26, you're supposed to stitch on something with letters or words. So I have Merry Christmas from Hands-On Design. 
27th is um, a pool day, so stitch on something with water, so under the sea. The 28th is stitch on something with a house or building. Um, I picked Holly Jolly Farm. Now, literally, I was just kind of going through my whip album in Whip Warriors and just picking kind of the first project that met the prompt. June 29th, um, stitch on something with an insect or a jar. So I picked feline love because there's butterflies in it. Um, June 30th, uh, stitch on something with a border. So I just picked Mary Harry. Uh, July 1st, um, stitch on something with a tree or plant. Um, Jack Frost Tree Farm is what I have slated in there. Now for Jolly July, I do have a new, I can do a new start on the first. And I'm kind of thinking of starting, is it Winter Garden? Is that what it's called? Um, the chart we received on the 25th day of the countdown logs. I was kind of thinking of maybe doing that. And if I am gonna do that, I need to kind of get my ducks in a row with that. I have all the floss, but I need to see if the remaining fabric from the countdown project will be big enough. So I need to look into that. But that would still work for that prompt because there's trees. July 2nd, um, I have Chelsea's chicken because it is uh, stitched on something with a bird. For these July ones, I might take another look and see if I can match it with stuff in uh, July, July. So this might change completely. And the more I think about it, it might. Um, July 3rd is to show something with snow. Um, snow Village. Um, July 4th, something patriotic. So I put Canadian snippets. I am hoping to get my July 1st piece done before July 1st um, and then hope to start another Canadian piece. So we'll see. Um, July 5th, um, something with grass or food. I put Hello Summer, they have popsicles. July 6th, uh, stitch something, a dark fabric or dark floss. I put Farm Charm, it's on black fabric. July 7th is um, stitch on something with a heart or red or pink. Um, so I have Nomi Homey, so my the Valentine gnome from Autumn Lane. And then July 8th, stitch on something with an animal. I put sweater weather, so it's a fox. And July 9th, stitch on something with flowers or floral motif, and I put garden cat. Um, oh, also, whip go uh, numbers were announced for July, and they are 13 for the free space, 21, which is garden cat for me, and then um, number nine, which is Jack Frosty Farm. Do you follow the blanket? All right, um, and then Jolly July, this is what my calendar looks like so far. You know, you're not going to be able to read that. Um, so we'll see. Like I said I might move some things around a little bit. Um, yeah. So that is all I've been up to. And what... Arlo just let himself out. Um, and what my plans are. So... Um, yeah, I think that's it. So we will talk to you all next week.